So here I'm just going to really briefly touch on bioaccumulation or bioconcentration again. Talk about it more a little bit later in the class. So essentially it's the preferential accumulation of pollutants in organisms, and we saw that in the example in class on Thursday where we had the pollutant accumulating to a higher concentration in fish than in the surrounding water. So this is one way to sort of retain pollutants in a system instead of losing them to break down or in water transport or air transport. And it's one of these ways that the EPA and, and others have decided to characterize these what they call persistent organic pollutants. So the requirements to be a persistent organic pollutant, or a POP, is a half-life of two months in water, a half-life of six months in soil or sediment, and a tendency to bioaccumulate. And this figure over here is just showing you um, log bioaccumulation on the y-axis, soil half-life in months on the y-axis, and then the portion in this in this gray sort of boxed off area are, are the persistent organic pollutants. So that's just a really brief breakdown of bioaccumulation. Um, spending a little bit more time on residence time and half-life, and then later on in the semester we'll talk a little bit more completely about bioaccumulation, bioconcentration, and, and also biomagnification and what the difference uh, between those, those terms are. And that's it. Thanks for watching.